What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. Now in today's video we'll be demonstrating how to enable four features in the Amazon Kindle app to improve your reading experience. Now if you've been following the channel for some time you may know that I'm a Google Playbooks user and there's a reason for that. I use the Google Opinion Rewards app and that allows me to get free change so that I can buy books in the Google Playbooks app. But I wanted to try the Amazon Kindle app since I'm also a Prime user and we've got some nice things going on here. Now in my opinion the Kindle app is slightly better than Google Playbooks and if you are a Prime member you also get many books included in that membership. As for this video it's featured on the Tech Tutorials playlist so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. And for reference, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. I think this is a remarkable device for reading books because you have that huge main display. And I also like the fact that this folds up like a book. So when you get done reading, you just close this. It's just a part of that reading experience. When you want to read, you open up. I don't know. It's just something about a foldable. And the Z Fold 3 and the upcoming Z Fold 4 are great devices for reading. As always, we only feature products or services I buy, use, or am interested in. And that being said, you can find items shown in this video at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. Now let's open the Kindle app. So here we are on the main page of the Kindle app. And again, this looks remarkable on the Z Fold 3. If you're looking for the perfect device for reading that happens to be a smartphone, I can't recommend the Z Fold 3 enough or the upcoming Z Fold 4. That should also be a really good device. Now on the top here, you can see we have from your library. These are books that were included with Prime. So if you see anything that says Prime reading or if you look at the row underneath, and has a check mark and it says prime next to it those are books that are included with your prime membership that's really nice because you have a lot to work with so if we scroll down you can see we have more prime choices you get quite a bit to get you started that's what i love about the kindle app if you have a prime membership so let's go ahead and talk about some of these features that are going to improve your reading experience but first we have to select a book so i'm going to tap on a book here and then we can tap on the middle of the page for the book that we've opened. And this is going to zoom out and show us all of our settings. Now we want to look for the icon that has a big A and little a. It's in the top right hand corner and we're going to tap on that. And then we're going to select more. And this is going to bring us to our first option that will enhance the reading experience. So you can see we have read and ruler. We're going to tap on that and that's going to refresh the page. You can see we have a slider on the right. If we tap on that, that's going to try to enable the reading ruler, but it also lets us know that we have to enable continuous scrolling. Now that's going to be important later on in the video because we're going to be talking about how to make page flips more enjoyable as well. So most likely we have to turn off enabling continuous scrolling. But for the time being, we're going to tap yes to enable continuous scrolling. And now this is going to show our ruler now we can choose a color for the ruler. We've got a good amount of options here. And once you've selected the color that you like, which by the way, I'm going by red, we could tap on the page of the book itself. And then we have the reading ruler. Now, the reason this is helpful is because it allows you to focus on an area that you're reading on a few lines of text so that you don't lose your focus. Now you can see just by scrolling the ruler moves, but let's say we don't want to scroll. We want to move the ruler manually. We can do so. We can just tap and hold on that ruler and we can move it to wherever we want it. So let's talk about our next feature. We're going to tap on the page again. And again, we're going to zoom out just a little bit here. And again, we're going to look for that big A little A icon tap on that. And before we move on to the next feature, I'm going to turn the reading ruler off. That way you could see what we do here. And again, we want to turn off continuous scrolling. So we're going to go to layout and then we have continuous scrolling. We're going to want to turn that off because we're going to be working with some settings that are going to make the page flips more enjoyable. 
but let's go to our next feature, which will be the visible clock. So if we look about halfway down the page, we have visible clock and that has a slider. We're going to tap on that. And then we're going to tap anywhere on the page of the book. You can see that we have a clock in the top left hand corner. That's just a nice feature to know what time it is as you're reading your book. That way you don't have to pull down on your status bar on your Android smartphone. The clock is just always there. So let's move on to the next feature. Again, we're going to tap on the middle of the page here. And once again, we're going to look for that big A, little A icon. And then we're going to go to the more section again. And then we have turn pages with volume controls. This is more of an accessibility option. It just makes the page turning a little bit more easier, quicker. So again, we have a slider. We're going to tap on that. It's going to turn to blue. That means the feature is enabled. And then we're going to tap anywhere on the page of the book itself. And now I can use my volume buttons to turn the page. Just a quicker way of doing things so that you don't have to do swipes to turn pages. Maybe you like using volume controls more. And then we have our last feature. Again, we're going to look for that big A, little A icon, tap on it. And we're going to scroll down. And then we have page turn animation. So this gives you a more realistic reading experience. It feels more like a book. It looks more like a book, I should say. You can't really feel the pages turning, but it gives a visual appearance of page turns. Now, before we actually enable this, we're gonna go back to the book and I'll show you what the page turning looks like at this moment. It's not very exciting. It's just swiping. It's just sliding out. The next page is coming in. Not very exciting. Doesn't give you a book feel. And that's why we wanna enable these animations. So again, page turn animation, tap on the slider, it turns to blue. Now we can go ahead and try this out. So if we go ahead and turn the page, you can see it's a lot more realistic. It's more enjoyable. It gives you that book feel. The only thing we would need next is that book smell, the smell of good books. I miss that because everything is so digital these days. We don't get that smell anymore. You can, it's not like you could put the phone up to your nose and it doesn't smell like anything, to be honest. It doesn't smell like anything. No book smell. But this gives you, a, it's a little bit closer. It's a little bit closer. So that is it for the four features you can enable to help improve your reading experience in the Kindle app. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can show your support is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are your ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. And as always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out.